round we be rolling? Eh. Ready? Are bust, you ready, Johnny? You don't seem ready. Your, bust out your most offensive accent. Offensive accent, Boyle. Okay, you guys. We're not even 30 seconds in. <laughs> and already we're offending. Well, uh, what was that? I mean, please that wasn't even ignore Irish. Joe's crazy offensive pot. <laughs> We don't oh even God. know what that was. Oh my God! Daylight savings time, you guys. It was like, ghosts. <laughs> today has the been, ghost of the Irish. Today right? has been a day, and it's only like no, no, it's no, no, not no. even a day yet. It's not even half. Oh, it's barely half a day. Well, welcome to the. Nostalgia. It's not even half a day. Oh jeez. It's not even noon. Sorry. <laughs> welcome to the Nostalgia Effect, the podcast where we examine movies from our childhood through the lens of adulthood. You get the whole gang here: Amy, Joe, and Johnny. Hello. Hello. Joe is here. But I am here. It's true. <laughs> that was a delayed response. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm losing my voice, which, you know, I'm is apropos. I'm losing my voice. Which is apropos for what we're going to talk about and talk in trailers Excellent. today. Excellent. We, <laughs> we don't need Amy's voice to function on the podcast. It's true. Oh, God. It's happy St. Patrick's Day, you guys. Wait a minute. Coronavirus. Mm. Yeah. That's kind of what we're talking about today. Are we talking about the coronavirus? For talking trailers. Do you know why we're talking about... The coronavirus for talking trailers? Yes. Because it's got a new movie coming out. No? Okay. That was just me. All right. Well, anyways, why are we talking about the coronavirus? Well... I'm sipping coffee, so this is the NPR. The well, next episode after this one that comes out, we were supposed to talk about a James Bond movie because that's when James Bond was coming out. Huzzah! But it has but been since been- moved been pushed back to november which is actually to it's november cust- yeah it's, yeah it's, it's actually it comes out on thanksgiving it's actually it's customary time of the year to come out at least it has been for the for james bond daniel movies. craig bond films interesting um i mean so, yeah they usually are like a fall yeah release right or sort like of a big winter. holiday release in a way huh. Yeah. Interesting. But then this one was supposed to come out in November, and I, and I, I was, I was one of the people that was like, huh? In April. Yeah, well, it wasn't it supposed yeah. to come out even earlier than that? It got pushed back to April, and then it got so pushed back So the second time again. it got pushed. I think this is the second time it got pushed. Oh, because oh he got injured on set. He, like, broke yeah. his ankle or something. Oh, that wasn't the last Bond film. No, that was... Uh, oh, that was Tom Cruise. That was Tom Cruise in the last Bond film. Damn it. They're making too many of these Bond films. <laughs> this is exactly what we talked about in the last episode when we were supposed to be talking about. I think we started talking about James Bond in the last talk the and trailers. Conversation usually, but then we ended up talking about Mission Impossible and like and Tom Cruise and Tom oh, Cruise. I love Tom Cruise and literally anything but James Bond. But indubitably, but this is. I feel it's been talked about as a rather strange like. South by Southwest got canceled because of coronavirus. Like oh, yeah, people were pulling, a lot yeah, of... a lot of like Chinese production companies were pulling out of South by Southwest, I mean, and then it just, just got fully canceled this past week. Well, I'm waiting for Coachella to probably go next. Hmm, that'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Seriously, I mean, it sounds like I mean South by Southwest is huge, yeah. Yeah. and that's not just music; that's also films yeah, it's and, film and mm-hmm. everything and a bunch yeah. of other stuff. Um, I mean, I just think people are, which is smart. You're just avoiding large groups of. People being super close together. Large which... groups of people who've been traveling. Yeah, yeah exactly. So well, it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna fucking. I mean, I, yeah. I wonder if they're gonna start canceling like flights and stuff, just in general, like not letting people travel at all. Mm, that's hard. hard. But, but I mean, but they're screening. They're screening at airports. Yeah. I wonder what else is gonna move. Um, I mean, yeah, we were talking, you know, a bunch of conventions in, like, South by Southwest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. South by Southwest. I wonder if, West. like, Comic-Con, like, you said Coachella, Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm wondering if we're still going to be dealing with this stuff in, in I mean, as, at least... In the summertime? I mean, at least to the level that, I mean, because it just, like, is happening right now, mm-hmm. so, you know. Well, Joe had to cancel, like, all of his honeymoon plans right, because we of the to, coronavirus. We were going to go to Japan china and hong kong Oof. and it was like as it was happening and then the, and then the, well, the like the head doctor of, of the world health organization basically said it's going to peak in april and we're like well that's <laughs> well that's like not late good april early may it's like that's when we were gonna go and like you guys are going to europe now right yeah and europe's hot now well, too. yeah because like the louvre closed disneyland mm. paris is on watch for closing mm-hmm. so it's like some of the places that you guys are probably thinking of going are probably going to be closed yeah yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, hell, there's like if 
you know, we're, we're doing the reception at Disneyland. Mm-hmm. And if Disneyland here closes, Ooh. then yeah. then what? Yeah. You know? It's like, are you guys going to even be able to sell? I'm taking it as a sign, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, God but, uh, brought down this plague. Have you talked to Sarah about that? I have. And when I said, I think it's a sign, she went, hmm. <laughs> she got very upset. Yeah. And then she hit me. Yeah, oh. about right. Wow, um, Joe. You're getting into a real great relationship there. I, well, yes. She, she, she's a person who of strong feelings. Um, and she's even, just a strong person. And in even general. stronger fists. <laughs> um, yeah. No, so, uh, but that's interesting because the thing is, and here's the weird thing or the crazy thing, is this is, this is a huge high profile movie. Maybe the first of many that might move. Well, There's also know. like film productions that might move. Mm-hmm. Uh, a friend of ours mm-hmm. who shoots behind the scenes, he's supposed to shoot uh, Conjuring 3, mm-hmm. and that sounds like it keeps getting pushed, and now mm. it possibly could get because it's travel. Yeah. They have yeah. to travel. Yeah. I say everyone just goes into their homes for two weeks, doesn't come out, and then we just move on. We just get it over with. We kill it, we just sweat it out, guys. I it. mean, I can totally do that. I mean, <laughs> she already does that. Yes, <laughs> um, I just have to go get some supplies that are all sold out everywhere. That's why I, have you get you guys, it delivered by Amazon. Have you? Right? Have Jeff you, Bezos is going to make a fortune. I've gone to Target sold? three times to yeah. try to get disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer, and they've been sold out. Oof. Wow. Yeah, uh, I've luckily stocked up on this before because I knew it was coming. Yeah, I'm like about know. to run out of like the sanitation and like mm-hmm. the wipes and stuff, like. They have, like, a bunch of them around the office here. And you're thinking about stealing them? Thinking about swiping? Swiper be swiping? <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, that's going to stop me. You have to say it three times. Um, With inf- more emphasis each time. Right. Here's the other crazy thing, though. Um, so coronavirus, much like SARS, and I think even influenza, is it's 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 like an umbrella term, coronavirus. And then mm-hmm. the one specifically that we're dealing with right now the is COVID-19. COVID-19. And there's a real chance that COVID-19 becomes a recurring yearly thing, mm-hmm. just like the flu. So what we'll see is going into the winter months, flu season, COVID-19 comes back. And then in the summer, it goes away. And so it's possible that... It might go away for the summer, come back for the winter, in which mm-hmm. case James Bond might still be affected. <laughs> That'd <laughs> well, be hilarious. And I, I saw that they probably won't have a immunization or anything like that for it until 2021. Yeah, that's probably interesting. Prob- mm-hmm. And 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 crazier still, um, the sort of state of emergency that the federal government declared um, has actually pushed back the availability of tests. Um, of reliable like test kits because but they do that to get funding. <laughs> well, well, they sort of yeah they, they do they do it to open up funding. But what but... happened was is there's a bunch of labs that um, the uh, FDA has sort of licensed is like you guys you're trustworthy whatever you guys do we stand behind mm-hmm. you go ahead you don't whatever you produce we don't have to review it but as soon as they declared that emergency um, then that all of a sudden meant that the FDA has to look through all of that work Ugh. and approve the tests, which means that a reliable test has now been delayed by more than like a month or two. Fine. Yeah. You know? Tell them this wouldn't be a problem if everyone just stayed inside. Does anybody ever feel that I feel like this is like the real world version of Thanos <laughs> is trying to yeah. depopulate the world. <laughs> yeah. Some like a eternal being or Immortal being or whatever is yeah. just, you know. Big purple dude. All right. <laughs> Who Big likes pur- hamburgers? Gr- grimace. <laughs> grimace. Um, well. Coronavirus. So Sounds like a good Stay healthy, so, my Tony, friends. Are you, are you, what's the big purple mascot from McDonald's? Grimace. Grimace? We just said it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't paying attention. Of course you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just funny. <laughs> yes. The Grimace. The Grimace. Big purple dude who likes hamburgers. Well, that's the Hamburglar. No, he's this. He's the striped convict looking guy with the mask. Yes, yes. The, he's a burglar. He also steals, likes burgers. But he has red hair. Yeah. And is a man. Yes, a I, know, I know what the Hamburglar looks like. <laughs> well, they all like burgers. Gr- yeah. And then there's Mayor, and then there's Mayor McCheese, who is, who is a, a hamburger. <laughs> who is a hamburger. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a cheeseburger, specifically. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get on the stuff? I... <laughs> God damn it. I was always terrified of the uh, 
the characters. Like my my neighbor had a birthday at McDonald's one time when I was like five or six. Mm. And Ronald yeah. McDonald. Ronald came McDonald out. is pretty terrifying. Oh yeah, terrifying. Yeah, and I remember like the commercials of like Grimace and Mary McCheese that are like they look like those characters that walk around Disneyland, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. And it was terrifying, mm-hmm. and I was I was always scared of those to begin with. Wasn't there also like a girl duck yes. character or something? No, there, I don't remember. Or something. She, there was like there was like a duck or a pigeon or something. I think you're. Hallucinating. There was there was one there was one. She had like that... braids. No. Nope. Yeah. She. Mm-mm. Yes. No. Um. I refuse to believe. There, Birdie. Her name was Birdie. That's there was right. actually a TV show. What? List of show? McDonald's. Oh, list of McDonald's characters series: The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Mm. So wacky. There it's are upsetting. so many characters. There's a pirate. What? There are a bunch of these little pom pom looking things. No, nope. I only accept the canon characters. Mm-mm. I'm not with this uh, there's McDonald's a, there's, extended universe. Okay? <laughs> there's this professor-looking dude that looks like a tall Oompa Loompa. Oh, so me. Well, he's, he's very orange. <laughs> so me. And he has white hair with a giant mustache. So me. Yeah. I mean, that is exactly, what, exactly looks like. what I look like. <laughs> there are sentient hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. There would have to be. Like, look at this. How terrifying I, is that? I can't this, see. That's... You can't see either, listener, but it's okay. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, listener, you're not... You're, I'll, I'll tweet a picture of it if I remember. <laughs> listener, you're not missing this nightmare imagery that Amy just showed us. Ridiculous. Anyway. Well, this is the 90s, so... Yeah, the, and none of those characters have, like... McDonald's doesn't oh, wait, use them anymore. 1986. Barely. McDonald's doesn't even... Hardly even uses Ronald McDonald Yeah, I was gonna anymore, ask. Right? I, I haven't... But then he, again, he that's not really, really marketed... To, 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 like, we're out of that market. because people are afraid yeah. of clowns now. I'm well, losing my I mean, voice people, again, you guys. Coronavirus is getting me. God damn it. <laughs> It's a good thing we're over here. Yeah. Um, I the last time I saw a commercial with Ronald McDonald was in like early 2010s. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen a lot of and really cool. And it was like cool... an animated e ish. Hmm. I've seen a lot of really cool cosplays where somebody has made like a done like a Ronald McDonald thing, but, but it looks like Pennywise. Pennywise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Interesting. I'm loving it. Mm. Okay, uh. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. It's okay. <laughs> I'll let it slide. All right. All Should right. We talk so about- uh, we talked about coronavirus a lot. You know what we didn't talk about? What did we not talk about? The movie that we're actually watching Don't today. The Luck of the Irish. The Luck of the Irish, which was one of my favorite decoms back in the day. Back in Listener, the Listener, in case you were new to the program, and why would you be? DCOM stands for Disney, Disney Channel, Channel Original, Original Movie. movie. Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about these. Every time. Every time. Oh, Man, no. I, no. I walk, I will, in, I walk I will... in scarred and ready for the hurt. I'm just I, like, all right. I have told you guys plenty of times that these are not good movies. But if we get to watch movies from your childhood, these are the movies that I watched in my childhood. Which only just makes you more sad for Amy's childhood, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. I mean, it explains a lot. This is what I'm saying. Well, but anyways, it is it is St. Patrick's Day weekend yes. week. That's right. I think St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow when this goes live. I have I have all the alcohols ready. All the alcohols. He's got two hands of alcohols. I do. And none yeah. of us are wearing green today. Nope. So do we all pinch oh. each other? I'm ready for pinching. See, yeah, Johnny yeah. took off his green. He had some green. It's true. He wants to be pinched. I he almost loves wore it. green. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> well, anyways. The luck of the Irish is. Why don't a, you Why don't you run us yeah, through yeah. it? Because I you, honestly, I don't think I ever. I don't think I heard of this. Honestly, I kept thinking for whatever reason that this was Darby O'Gill and the Little People, which was a movie with Sean Connery from like the sixties. Nobody knows what the fuck what? you just said. No, I know Sean all Connery. It, yeah, we heard Sean but then, Connery, but then that's and it. That was it. That was all. Yeah, and so for whatever reason, I was kind of thinking that was this, even though I knew it wasn't. Yeah. Um, no, this yeah. has. Timothy Odmanson in it. I don't know, because neither of you watch Psych. I watch Psych. And Timothy Odmanson is one of the um, detectives in that show. Oh, that not guy. Not the psychic detective. No, I know who you're talking about. He's not the psychic psych. He's not the psychic psych. He's been in a ton of stuff. He's a big, yeah, he's he's a big time a character actor. He's been in a lot. I think I was first aware of him in 1993 when he was on Sequest. Yeah, th- this uh-huh. and Psych are the only things I know him from, but I love him. He's a great actor. That man hasn't aged. Have you noticed that? Um, I don't think. 
you have seen him recently. He was supposed to be in the first Psych movie uh-huh. after they. But then he was like Psych, psych? Then, in psych no, movie. No, they made us. They made a Psych movie. Timothy Odmanson had a heart attack and was not oh able to be in the production of Psych. Oh my god. Um, and then he's recovered since recovered, and they have since filmed a second Psych movie. This is Timothy Odmanson now. Whoa. He's he is listener, a, you can't see. He is a silver anymore. fox gentleman with a very nice mustache. Yeah, I'll say. Um, he has aged very well. Like a fine wine. Amy, keep it in your pants, all right? He, She's oh, blushing right now. She's turning he red. He was in MI3. The the British team. He was an IMF agent in Mission Impossible 3. Oh. Uh, what did you call that? MI3. Are you three? No, you are not. Disgusting. You are <laughs> close to 30. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I am very close to 30. Please um, don't remind me. <laughs> I don't know how to make this picture bigger because, you know, I'm an old man. But look, that's him in Sequest in 1993. He... I can't see I, it. Nobody can see what you guys are talking about. Listener. It's... I can't even see. <laughs> and I'm sitting right here. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. This also stars Ryan Merriman. He is the main character. He This is his second of three DCOMs. Okay. He is also is. well known for being in um, Final Destination 3. Okay. And Halloween Resurrection. I think that's Halloween that's like one of the bad holidays. Seven or nine. Yeah, yeah. it's the one with uh, Ice Cube, Ice T. Buster Rhymes. Mm, Buster Rhymes. Thirsty. Fucking racist <laughs> over here. I have not seen Resurrection. Mm-hmm. Okay. You yeah. Like, it's this is 1993. Guy. 1993? <gasps> yeah, Johnny. See? Wait, what? I don't know. Okay. This. Okay. <laughs> this was, yes. That is 1993. <laughs> it was with some rapper, okay? I don't some know. Some rapper. I don't know my rapper. You really, you clearly do not. She also doesn't know the difference between a bunch of different black guys that look nothing alike. It's very true. <laughs> well, I didn't remember. I couldn't remember who it was because mm-hmm. I had not seen Resurrection mm-hmm. and no, I, I just I, know I, it was a rapper. I and I was like, the first one that came to mind, Ice Cube. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, but anyways, can you... All right. Luck uh, of the Irish with... Uh, Without spoiling anything, even though really nothing is to be spoiled, it's about a boy who finds out that he is part leprechaun and he has to win back this lucky coin. That his lucky Timoth- charm. His lucky charm wow. that they find at the end of a rainbow that wow. Timothy Odmanson steals from him. Whoa, spoilers. This um, sounds pretty racist. But sounds- I'm excited to jump in. And to early 2000s. And tear Amy's down. Tear Amy's choice down oh, once again. Yes. Oh, you're not tearing it down. <coughs> I already know that this is a bad movie. We're stomping on your childhood. I mean, Amy. honestly, I haven't watched this movie since. But you were really excited in, about this movie in 15 years. Yes, this is one of the first ones that I suggested when we started this podcast. Mm. I remember yes. this has been on the list. Forever. Yeah, and I've been successfully pushing, avoiding pushing and pushing, and now finally it happened. And now it's roosters have come home to roost. Chickens. What? Chickens. Oh, yeah. Chickens. There's also basketball in this, so there you go, Johnny. Sports. Sweet basketball. And Speaking a lot of, of Scottish Irish heritage. What are you pointing at me for? I don't know. <laughs> Just I'm quarter Irish, quarter you're... Scottish. How dare you? That is profiling. <laughs> Fucking racist. You're the only ginger here, Joe. I'm not ginger. I mean, your hair is pretty red. No, My it's hair's not. Purple. I have the I have the the big white mustache and the orange skin, like we were talking about <laughs> earlier. <laughs> That's right, she has a new balloon. Oh, <laughs> you almost made me choke on my coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, okay, no, but, to, like, so you, you, this was one of the very first ones you saw. I see it's, a, it's from 2001, like you said. Yeah, it's not um, one of the first ones that I've seen. It's one of the first ones that I put on this list when we decided to start oh, this yeah, podcast. Okay. It's, but it's at least, you said you haven't seen it in a while. Like, I haven't seen it in about 15 years. Okay. I don't remember much about it except for what I have told you. Yeah basketball leprechauns Leprechaun. and stealing a coin and yeah, timothy sure. odmanson and yeah. Ryan merriman yeah but i used to watch this every single year up until about 15 years ago apparently they still play it every um do they really st patrick's day that is what i Wait, saw so you watch it every year for like four years yeah for they used they would play it not on St. Patrick's Day. They would play it throughout the year. Um, like they would just play a new, uh, not a new. They would play a decom like every Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night on Disney right. Channel. Right, and they obviously couldn't have a new one every time. So they would right, be, they'd uh, have like a new one every quarter, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. There'd be I a new decom every three months. Got it. 
But yeah, Luck of the Irish. I always had a crush on Ryan Merriman. So did Sarah when I mentioned. I she mean, was, I still do. Have you seen him recently? I so I have not seen no. him recently. Um, let me let me see. You probably have you. When's the last time you saw Ryan Merriman? Who the fuck is Ryan Mer? Whatever. <laughs> Ryan Merman. Ryan. Merman. Well, funnily enough, in his third decom, he plays a mermaid. You know, a if, merman. If I had, if I had to, if I had to cast, like, because I'm looking at a picture of him now, if I had to cast like a younger, mm, he's not quite the right age. But I would say, like, if I had to cast a relation of Chris Evans, I mm-hmm. think I'd cast this guy. Now or back then? Well, back then, for sure. Like, if he was the age he was back then now, I could say, oh, yeah, he could be, if you needed to cast Chris Evans' son, boom, done. You know? He now, could be his brother now, yeah. Yeah, maybe brother. Hmm. Yeah, all right. What's this guy's name again? Ryan, Ryan Merriman. Merman. Ryan Merman. Okay, I take it back. He wasn't a mermaid in A Ring of Endless Light. I always get Ring of Endless Light in the 13th year mixed up. Oh, same. But same. A Ring of Endless Light is based on a book by Madeline LaEngle that I actually really was obsessed with when I was younger. It's about this girl who grew up with dolphins, oh. and she can only speak dolphin. Mm. And I've been trying to remember it, and this just now looking at this IMDb page, I'm like, that's what that book was. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's what that book was. Kind of sounds like little ball of light. Hold on. Maybe I'm. I I'm reading the uh, the summary, the synopsis, and it's not that. I don't know. Maybe I just had an epiphany on something that's totally not real. Oh, you had an epiphany all over the sofa too. Jeez, disgusting. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. So what the fuck are we doing here? Are we gonna watch all this right. thing or not? Let's just go watch it. I've stalled long enough. <laughs> Jesus. And now, our feature presentation. Okay. Well, guys, let's rip the Band-Aid off. I know it's not good. Did you, did you, my question, did you derive any sort of enjoyment from this viewing? No. (laughs) (laughs) Only watching Ryan Merriman and Timothy Edmondson. That's gross. He's a child. Yeah, he's a child. And And the other guy's old. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. I I was re- I was watching it in the eyes of my eleven year old self. You have your eleven year old's eyes. <laughs> yes, they're in my eyes. <laughs> um, oh God. Well, okay, Amy, tell us what fifteen something years ago Amy thought versus now. Like, what did you used to love about this film that you either still love or? kind of isn't working for you anymore is it the movie or is it that it just was a disney channel original movie i think you just hit it on the nose i think it was i liked it because it was a disney channel original movie and because Mm. i mean i I, if i recall like those were i like most those were because because it was like a talking point wasn't didn't people like i mean they were popular right Mm -hmm. Mm, around the old water cooler at school at school yeah the The old old drinking fountain (laughs) juice box (laughs) Bubbler. Bubbler is something completely different, but all right. Yeah, this movie is, uh, it's it's an hour and a half long, mm-hmm. but it feels like three hours. Really? It drags so much. There was parts where I was just like, okay, I get it. They're getting they're getting into wacky hijinks, and it's just like wacky hijinks, like people like well, falling down. Well, yeah, that's the signature. And, like, I literally have on here, classic wacky decom monta- montage slash chase sequence. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was just like, why does everything have to be wacky? It's, it's like, and it's, right. it's very specifically wacky. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's zany. Like, it's all it's missing is... Yeah, yeah. yeah I, well, I'm surprised that they didn't have that music when they were <laughs> running through the potato chip factory. Oh, man. I, and, and how racist is that? Potato chips? Well, this whole movie is pretty racist. Yeah. yeah. But... It, it's it's uh, it's so Did there's you, so much there's so much so many layers going on here, layers guys. like an onion layers uh, oh, God. did you Ugh. did you happen to notice though there's there's the bit where they're talking about like you know when we came to America we didn't have you know Irish need not apply and we took the jobs that weren't very good and didn't yeah. pay very well and then his black friend says at least you got paid yeah yeah I was like Fuck. I was uh I was interested because there's another spot well that spot I was like I was like this because this whole movie is a uh, very uh, what's the word? I'm looking blunt. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> about uh, immigrate, immigrate, like, you know, America is a land of immigrants. Yeah. But, you know, white immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. So many, so much, so many things. But like, so the thing, the slavery point, I was interested because, you know, it's all about talking about, like, oh, the Irish mm-hmm. had it really hard. Mm-hmm. And then they became the cops that give it yeah. now a hard time to the black folk. <laughs> but like, I was like, uh, so I noticed, I caught that one was like, oh, at least you got paid. And then there was another shot in the movie where he's like in the classroom and they're like, uh, they show like immigrant, like immigration patterns, I guess, from like different parts of the world to like America or whatever. Yeah. And like, I was one, I was like, Oh, it was one from Africa. And I was like, I wonder if like, they're going to slave trade. Like we're going to mention that in this movie at all this Disney channel original movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was underneath like in the, on the board, it was just like, uh, us slaves. I mean, uh, slaves going to America. And it's like, Oh yeah. Well, at least they mentioned it, I guess. I know. Yeah. I was like, I guess that's good, but this whole movie's so fucking weird. It is. It is yeah. very strange. Oh, yeah. I yeah. don't like. I. Oh. The beginning, the part that I never really realized was very strange was the dinner scene when he's like trying to ask his parents about his heritage, and mm. the mom has like that big bowl of like lettuce and sprouts or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. They are like Stepford wives. They're like robots. Yeah. The and the whole- way that it's angled and framed, like. It's just like kind of fish eyed around them, and yeah. it looks so weird and awkward and creepy. Yeah, I, I never noticed that before. There's actually so there's something I so I I could tell Amy from your face that you were just like yeah it's not good maybe you still like it maybe but oh I did not enjoy any of this really <laughs> I was gonna ask like, and, 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 and no I, and it I, was and I, I was could, like what is like I. I enjoy Tower of Terror for what it was. Yeah. yeah. I will never not enjoy Halloween Town. That is one of my all-time favorite movies of childhood. It's yeah. my second yeah. favorite decom of sure. all time. Sure. So though like this one I did not <laughs> You got have nothing fun. out of I was just like okay, this is the first time I remember seeing Timothy Odmanson. I really like him in this. Yeah. But that's about it. And then Johnny, I can tell from the amount of self harm on on you that yes. that you also did not care for this film. No. Joe, did you just make a a, a cutting joke? <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it, it had a sharp edge to that to that joke. Um, Boom. <laughs> but uh, uh, yes, no, um, this was a uh, this was a pain. But but for you know, it's funny for me. I found it. Um, harmless i think yeah it's a kids movie yeah, yeah. and it's, it's like the, it's the dichotomy the family kid thing that we always yeah. talk about it is definitely more leaning to the kids side oh, certainly. than family side well i mean but it, but that's that's by intention by I mean, design yeah. yeah because it is a disney channel original movie yeah which is like, yeah but i i mean but it was kind of like because i feel like i found it to be harmless and pointless pointless <laughs> yeah but also um they i feel like they didn't quite get there, especially because it was specifically dealing with white folk. Although they did mention the slave trade. Well, and also Bonnie, she comes out in a Native American. I don't know. Her last name is Lopez. Lopez. Yeah. But she's wearing like. Yeah. I had a. I had a. Native that ending. Oh, by the way, the ending. Oh my god! It felt were so they, awkward and cringy. Oh, were they like, singing? Were they singing? Literally, oh. my last note on here is "song at the end" is so cringe. Oh, oh, yeah. My oh. note. My note is literally. What the fuck? God damn it, Amy. <laughs> That's my note. I, my second to movie. last note before the song at the end is uh-huh. Bonnie's an ethnicity question mark. She looks Native American and so does her dad, but she has a Hispanic last name. True. And she's wearing yeah, Native she's American wearing, I don't know, garb yeah, when some, she comes out. Closer to that. Because I like what I was gonna say was I had a Native American American girl doll growing up and she was wearing almost the exact same thing mm. as what Bonnie is wearing at the end. And at the beginning when he's having that nightmare. Hmm. Hmm. It's like the way she has her hair braided and yeah. stuff. That's Native American, I believe. Well, just maybe it's not Irish. I'll tell you that. Yeah, much. but uh, this whole movie is so weird. You know, I like, but another weird. Sorry, yeah, Joe. No, no. But another weird part is how did his dad get his mom? His dad is like. Oh my God! Did you see how his he mom runs? Is gorgeous. Did you see how he runs? Oh, yeah. his running he, was pretty he was funny. Like, he kind of like flapped his hands back and forth, yeah. and yeah. when he was running, and it was just like this bald 
potato. He's pota- He looks like a potato. That's, he's a potato. What, that's how he got her. That's how he got potato. her. He's a potato. He's the potato of human beings. I mean, to be fair, on uh, Amy, he, he probably gets you too with his potato magic. And probably. True. Nobody loves potatoes more than you. Nope. Potatoes. Um, not even Irish. I'm not even. I might be. I might be like a little bit Irish. No, uh, everyone's a little bit Irish. <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm mostly German, but I got like... We know. Eighth, I got an eighth of like a bunch of different European... Nope. No, don't do it. Um, Actually, I got a quarter of like Europe and the UK. Probably. I'm sure you do. I need only, to take a 23 Only a quarter. <laughs> only a quarter. Um... <laughs> The uh, I I found I found a way to insulate myself from what the fuck, God damn it, Amy. <laughs> Whilst this movie was on TV, what were you? <laughs> I was. Were you uh, building a castle? No, I wasn't building a castle. The castle's done. Um, I was um running through a Terra deck Canon C two hundred and an Easy Rig and oh, so like you... experimenting. So I was I was so you I, I was keeping myself busy. Well, uh, honestly, I kind of was doing the same thing. <laughs> I was the only idiot paying attention and being like, oh, I'm taking <laughs> meticulous attention. 